Welcome okay. to play the intro now, right? Category we have the King Oscar by special royal permission wild caught Mediterranean style sardine with extra virgin olive oil, herbs of province, red bell pepper, black olives, and garlic. Okay, shout out to Max. So that was the cheapest one at $269. Nice, nice, <laughs> and next is Bella. Lightly smoked sardines in organic extra virgin olive oil with piri piri. So that's a little bit of a chili, little, little bit of the spice element. And these are unique because they're from um, Portugal, product of Portugal. Green Coast Trading, Wild Pacific Sardines, Chili and Lime. This would be interesting. These are from Malaysia, so that's a little kind of sketchy. Okay. But, you know, nothing against Malaysia, just... You know, sometimes fish that's shipped overseas from that side of the Pacific uh, is known to cause certain types of food poisoning. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but I mean, to all my Mal all our Malaysian friends out there, nothing against you personally. It's just hopefully we don't have the slickens later. <laughs> Next is Wild Planet Sustainably Caught Wild Sir. So these are skinless and boneless. Yeah, and in olive oil as well. So these, so these one, the other ones have bones, everything, guts in them. No head, of course, no tail. But these are just fillets. It says they are hand fillet, and these are from. Uh, all it says is packaged in California. I figured I'd get your favorite snack of all time um, for us to enjoy. And actually, this is backwards to the viewers. So these are in order from cheapest. Uh, you know, this is the cheapest. These are the mid-range. I think I forgot to say the price, huh? Yeah. These are three thirty-nine, three sixty-nine. Nice. Nice. These are and these are two two ninety-nine, and the lowest two sixty-nine. So two sixty-nine to three sixty-nine. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right, let's get into it. First, we're starting with the King Oscar Wild Caught Mediterranean Style Sardines. So get a good look. Alright, let's uh, crack them open. Make sure you do not throw this in your local ocean. Okay. We need more sardines. So here it is, very fancy. Very golden. It's actually 14 karat, not quite 24, but 14 karat gold on the outside. So, always have a paper towel when you're opening sardines, okay? Because otherwise the oil can go all sorts of places and that's not fun. Push down the top. Calmly and collectively, collectively pull the top back. And inside, you expose oh, a that. tightly packed sardine. It's got some olives in there, garlic, oh, oil. That's, that's very fishy. fishy, but very delicious. All right, so I'm going to pull your top back till it pops off. Okay, all right, then I got our forks here. And you just want to dive right in. So I'll go for this one on the outside. I think I'll just go for the whole fish. Oh, nice. So this actually has tail on. Want to get a good view of this? Are you supposed to eat the tail? 
It's got the tail on, all the guts, of course, inside, all the bones. Mm. And it's heavenly. I think it's delicious. And Jace is going to go for it. I should mention I'm not, uh oh. They're really very tender. Fish guy. They're very tender. Delicious. My grab body one. is telling me no, but it's not that. I'll grab one more before I go. I'll Get a nice look at the guts in there. All the innards. Delicious. So for what was that? Two sixty nine. For two sixty nine. Hey, great amount of protein. Great source of protein. Chase is loving it. I'm still working on this, this first one. It's extra virgin olive oil. It's very good for the for the table. And uh, all right, you know, let's move on. Next we have Bella sardines. A little chili on there. All right, let's crack these open. This one got a little more oil in it. And these are big boys. Those are oily too. <laughs> I mean, that, that so oil. So you can definitely see the size comparison. You want to come take a look? It's a very big fish. Yeah, we could we could split that. You want to split that one? Yeah. All right. I think that'd be. Get a good view of the guts fine. though. Look at that. Get a nice view of the innards. Very delicious. And these have got a huge spine bone in them too. I'll take the big size up. Is that okay? Oh, go right ahead. <laughs> Very oily. Delicious though. Great source of calcium. And delicious. Absolutely delicious. Alright, for Chase. Here goes. Those are good. Not too bad. Get that crunch from the bone a little bit. Yeah. A little bit of crunch in there. Great source of calcium. Really good for you. Alright. Next, onto the Rain Coast Trading Chili Lime. So, I didn't taste any spice in that. Are you Did supposed you? To? Yeah, so it has a pepper on it. But that was not spicy at all. I'm still chewing. And that one, it was good, but it didn't taste like garlic. You know? You're still chewing? Yeah. Oh. There's this mental barrier. My brain's telling me not to eat this stuff. That's kind of neat. Once again, 14 karat gold packages. <laughs> all right, let's open this sucker. Ah. All right, it's down. Only got half Turn left. <laughs> well, remember, I'm making you eat the rest. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh yeah, look at that. Oh no, so that's, that's, got, that's a different color. So that's got some chili and I'm just presuming lime. It smells alright. Smells like I don't fishy. Know if I like smells that. like fishy acid. Vinegar or something. These are medium sized, I'd say. There's yeah. definitely something tangy in there. That's well, maybe they're big, let's see. If you look in there you can see the spine. Great source of calcium. I'll probably pull it right out. Let's see. There's the vertebrae. A little crunchier on this. But, I'll get a bite of. Yeah, I mean, pretty bland. But, you know, I'll let you just go for it. My least favorite of the three so far. It tastes like tuna, though. This is really tastes like sardine. I like a tuna flavor. He's getting a nice little meal out of that one. And again, this is the Malaysian one, so hopefully we don't get food poisoning. It's not too bad though, right? Yeah, if I just imagine this is tuna. Imagine. Yeah, it tastes like tuna. Okay. I'd say that's a good starter sardine. Still a good nonetheless. But that one has some kick. I wouldn't say it's super spicy, but yeah, but definitely, definitely more than that because okay. that doesn't. Really, I mean, I think the sardine quality of this one, mm -hmm. I think, was the best texture. Okay. But that's my personal opinion because those are the Portuguese sardines. Those are really good. Uh, the bristling sardines are they're good, but they're a little smaller. These taste like tuna, which isn't a bad thing. It, they're just it, you know might as well be tuna. All right, so this is the one that has no bones, no spine. No, none of that. So I think Chase is most excited for this one. I'm thrilled. He's thrilled. And 
and let's see what we got. So Wild Planet. Oh, okay. So they went more the nickel route with this. Oh. Rather than gold. Let's see what we got, Wild Planet. <laughs> that looks so weird. So this is boneless and skinless. Take a look at this. It looks kind of odd. I don't. This looks more appetizing to me. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, this looks a little sketchy, but hey, we'll go for it. All right, take a nice big hunker. Hmm, that's that's good texture though. It's not bad. Very even. There's no bones. Yeah, respectable sized piece there. Here it goes. Oh, very very oily. Lots of oil on that. Not very fishy. Chewier though. It's a chewier one. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I prefer the bones in, but it's their own. I'm getting salmon vibes from this one. Yeah, like yeah, like the like over well, I think overcooked salmon. Okay, yeah. But still I mean overcooked salmon's still pretty good salmon. So my personal ranking, I'm gonna go at the top. I think the Bellas. Even though they weren't spicy. The spicy ones weren't any more expensive than the normal ones, so I'm not going to dock them. I think the sardine quality is the best. I'm going to go to King Oscar next. And we are kind of scoring these backwards to the, to the audience. This is number, excuse me, number one, number two. And honestly, I'm going to go number three, number four. Wow. Shocking. Um, Chase, let's see your order. Yeah, um, I'll, I'm just gonna kind of rank all of them on that side. <laughs> so uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, but same word. Yeah. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. All, all Look at that. I trust see, you sardines that. unite people. So, and I think in honor of ranking these, I ought to eat one whole sardine out of each can. Okay. Sound good? You are welcome to do that. Going out the teeth. Very consistent texture. Very good. You got a little chalky though. I think these are the most expensive too. Oh. And I think I'd rather just buy them bone in. Oh. <laughs> that is a big one. Yeah. That's a mouthful. I'm kind of regretting this. Okay. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> I think I'll need a little sweet tea, but then I'll do it. No, I'll get uh, that for you. Yeah, I can drink. And then I'll eat, a, I'll eat a whole one. These aren't even the biggest ones, though. It's the Bellas that are the biggest. Alrighty, folks. Here's our our sweet tea, as promised. I don't want to break these glasses. Alright, then don't. <laughs> this is a mouthful of sardine. No, this one's paper towel. You got your cover? Oh, thank you. A lot of sauce on it. I'll give you that. A lot of sauce. I think there's a whole lot of pizzazz going on and not a lot of substance. Now, I think these little dudes have tails on, which is kind of, which is kind of neat. He's got his little tail on That's there. fish. Swimming around. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Just slid right up. That one's good, and I gotta tell you, that one is good. Now these boys are big. That is a big fish right there. Now this is a normal sized fork. And that's how big that fish is. That's hefty. That is big. You don't want to help me out with the last one? Uh... Why not? Actually, I have plenty of good reasons why not. You gonna do a whole fish too? Biggest one. All right, Mr. Bentley, ready? For the viewers. Full oh, yeah. one. Why me? Um, do a little bit. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying.
So orally. You could use a cropper. It's a lot of fish. Yeah. Feel the crunch of the bones. Delicious. It is, this is the best fish out of all of them. Oh, for sure. <laughs> a lot of chew, though, for one bite. Sure, stuck with the sweet tea. Done. All right. You're almost there, buddy. Just don't think about the guts. <laughs> <laughs> or the bones. I like the oil that I don't like. Really? I love the oil. Yeah. I think it, it's easier for it's me It's a shame though. I'm not, I, I'm not allowed to oil. cook with sardines in the household because it literally makes the entire... Because when these hit the pan, the entire house smells like fish. I have to eat them outside. Got some oil dripping off my... Oh, oh yeah. See, I love the oil. It tastes it's not like the oil. I'm not a fan of the oil. The best oil out of all these is the Bella. I mean, you can just see in the color. It is just a nice golden olive oil. Just pour it right in the pan, do garlic, all, all your stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Are you still swallowing? That was the last piece. <laughs> we should time how much longer that took you to swallow. Now, I did start before you, though. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I thought that was a lot of fun. So, we ate all of the Bella, because I think those were the best. And then about half of the King Oscar, um, maybe half of the Malaysian Pacific, was it Pacific Coast? Something like that, the trade, you know. And then, honestly, the boneless skinless just did the least for me. But hey, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I encourage you to go try some sardines, they're great. All right, bye.